Hello everyone, welcome back to BFX Factory once again and welcome back to another exciting Unreal Engine tutorial. In today's video, we will be creating this snow coastline environment inside of Unreal Engine 5. I will show you the step by step procedure of how to create this 3D environment. So without much further ado, let's start the video. So this is the scene that we are going to create today. So let's start this from the scratch. So first go to file, create a new level and I am choosing this empty level here create after then i'm going to set up some light for that i will choose this windows and go to light mixture and just enable all these options okay so skylight atmosphere sky atmosphere volumetric cloud and height fog okay that's all we need after then just go in right side and select this skylight and just go down and just enable this real time capture Okay, that's all. Our light setup is completed. So now let's import our mountain. I will provide this mountain and all the stops. You can download from the link in the description. Okay, so let me show you. First, let's create a landscape actually. So go to landscape and hit create. Okay, and now I'm going to my model folder. Okay. You can download this don't worry you can download this from the link in the description and let's drag and drop here and I'm going to increase the scale this one like 100 or 50 I think 50 will be better so this will be my main center of the environment and next I will add another mountain in the left and in the right side okay just like this and another one in the left side and just move the position yeah that's fine okay next let's apply the material here let me change the light direction a little bit okay so for material i have exported the material from the gaia software so this is the material so I will drag and drop this like this okay and if I change the light direction you can see this is looking good so actually the exposure is too much high to control that I am going to use post process volume simply drag and drop this and simply enable this minimum and maximum exposure and apply the value of 1 and 1 okay and after that just search for unbound okay i know these steps are typical regular kind of steps everyone use this step okay so i think you also know that so our main step is completed now let's sculpt our landscape little bit wherever we want our tree so let's go to landscape and just sculpt wherever you want like i'm sculpting in these areas Okay, now let's again select this curve tool and now I will create my river. Okay, I mean I will sculpt a path for my river. Okay, so for that uh, I will increase the strength and increase the brush size actually and just hold shift and just brush like this and you can see the sculpting is going downward okay now i'm going to use my water body for that you have to enable this here in plugin and search for water okay and you have to enable this water plugin okay so i have already enabled the plugin so i am going to use so i am going to search here water and uh, and I'm gonna use this water body custom so drag and drop here and I'm going to increase the scale like 100 or you can increase this more let me increase this like 500 yeah that will be fine actually the landscape height is so much high let me decrease this little bit go to landscape and I'm gonna 
decrease the intensity by 0 0.2 and press hold shift and just let till downward and if you want you can increase the mountain size little bit more so i'm going to increase this like 70 sorry 70 now let's save this level so control s and this will be tutorial okay now we will add the trees over our landscape and for tree i am using this landscape pro 2.0 auto generated material pack here are so much uh, trees are available here so you can also use this so here is my folder i will go inside and go to environment procedural foliage and here are all the trees okay you can see here so we will use pcg tool to generate the trees all over this landscape okay so here is my pcg folder okay and this is my pcg graph so this step is really simple and if you want to learn about this i have a specific video on this topic just go and check this tutorial and come here again this step is too easy okay so i'm leaving this step up to you after then if you created these nodes you have the static mesh spawner and i have imported all the trees here okay this will this is my tree 2 and 3 4 total 4 trees i have added so simply save and must check the pcg tutorial from my channel okay and again come here so now i will drag and drop this here like this and you can see the tree is applied automatically let me show you by changing the light direction okay you can see this is looking good okay so let's uh, increase the scale you can increase the scale or you can duplicate the same in different areas okay so let's increase by 50 again here and basically i will drag and drop the same i want increase the scale actually so as you can see the tree is populated all around the landscape and if any places is left just complete that areas if you want okay just like this okay so already the scene is created much more beautifully so now you can see our landscape has no material so let's add some material so i will go to my quixel just go to surface and download any of the ground material according to your scene according to your imaginations or requirement okay so i have already downloaded some materials so i will go to local and all these three assets i will use on my landscape okay to cover the ground so this one this one this and this i will export this all after that i will go to my surface and this is my material so select the landscape and just go down and here we have landscape material just drag and drop and here it is okay so so i am not going to work in other side of the landscape okay i will work according to my requirement camera animation only okay my camera will be like this in this way only okay so i don't have to work on other areas okay so let's go to my 3d assets and i will click on the static mesh and i am going to use this 3d assets here like this just increase the scale like 10 or 5 okay and just place like this so as you can see our scene is complete mostly and if your requirement is much more details then you can take your time and create this so I'm leaving this up to you so our next step is adding some fog 
and for the fog i am using this eg fog by william fortger you can get this from the marketplace and make sure if you are making this scene you have to download this before that okay so after adding the project here i have the eg fog folder and this is our blueprint okay so before adding that let me add some light setting so i'm not so i'm not going to use these clouds so i will delete this and next i'm going to use some hdri so i will go to here in the light and drag and drop this hdri map here and just increase the size by 5000 and let's place it down like this okay and i'm going to change the hdri like this one and i have downloaded this hdri map from the hdri heaven make sure you have also downloaded the same or any different kind of hdri okay so and yes i will try to add this project file in my patreon make sure you go and check that file if you want to do some practice or experiment on this okay so make sure to go and check out the patreon and if you like my videos or my hard work then please do support me through the patreon okay so our hdri is added i am going to rotate the hdri a little bit like minus 180 yes that's fine and also i will rotate my light direction by pressing ctrl l in the left side okay like in our hdri map the light is coming from the left side so that's why i am rotating the sun in the left side okay now this is looking fine let's go to hide fog so let's increase the density like this yeah this is looking fine okay so now i'm going to my easy fog and let's add all this blueprint here so just drag and drop anywhere and just increase the scale like 10 and sorry and just rotate it like this and you can see the fog okay let me increase like 20 and and you can move this anywhere okay and you can see this is looking little bit dark so we can control this if i go down then here we have base color intensity so i can increase this and also you can increase the density fog density okay just play around all these options and you will get some realistic fog okay so i'm just going to add this easy fog blueprint all around the scene so just enjoy and as you can see this is looking good and also i will add some fog over my water okay let's see how this will look and now you can see guys this is looking beautiful so let's add a camera so go to cinematic cine camera actor right click snap object to view I can go to perspective and select the cinematic view and select the camera and yes you can see now I'm going to change the lens little bit like 30 or uh, actually I'm going to use 21 actually okay now you can see this is looking beautiful and now again I will add some sequence add level sequence okay and let's save and this will be our animation part okay so I'm going to drag and drop my camera this one in the sequence so let me specify the final camera angle first here will be my final camera and I will go to my camera here and under this transform I will add a keyframe so make sure this pointer will be in the last frame 
and just add a keyframe here okay and just go to first frame and I'm going to back like this and camera should be like this okay just place one more keyframe here and select this both right click and linear and let's play this So after adding some color corrections, this is the scene that I have created inside of Unreal Engine 5 and I know you can do much more better than this. So if you are vibing with what we are doing here and want to be a part of this journey, head over to the Patreon page linked below your contribution no matter how small it is. It is like a high five of support that keeps us going strong together. We will keep the knowledge flowing, the learning growing and community thriving. Thanks for being awesome and I will see you in the next video. Have a nice day. And yes, I will provide this project file in the Patreon page. So make sure to go and check out. Bye bye.